All right, in this podcast coaching session, we're going to look at two of my favorite celebrities, David Lee Roth and Jillian Michaels, on how they're making some kind of common podcasting mistakes. My name is Dave Jackson. I run the school of podcasting.com. And I, if you look at, let's get rid of me, let's go to Jillian's Facebook page. Here you can see her saying, go to iTunes to listen to my podcast. If you go to Jillian's page, she says, here's another one. Listen to Jillian's podcast. Again, the only option go to Jillian in iTunes. Well, let me show you something here, some stats. This is from a podcast of mine on weight loss, and you can see here where 58% of the audience gets their podcast in iTunes. That means there's another 42% that doesn't. If I go to, here's my podcast about podcasting. It's been downloaded almost 800,000 times. If we go into statistics, you will see that only it's roughly 17, 18% of the people that consume this podcast, again, only use iTunes. There are other things such as the iPad and the iPhone, but nonetheless, you are missing out on any part of your audience. Why would you want to cut out any part of your audience when it comes to your podcast? So we can see down here, you can see it's only 17%. So, and I know she could say, well, I'm on Stitcher. You know, if I wanted to get her on my smartphone, but let me show you. Let me switch to iTunes, and here you can see where I have subscribed to Jillian. But let me show you what you have to do if you wanted to listen to her podcast on your phone without using Stitcher. If I right-click on this and I come down to Show Description, let's zoom in on this. See where it says Content.EverydayHealth.com forward slash Jillian Michaels Podcast forward slash JM dash podcast dash feed dot X S L. Here's the fun thing. You, you can't copy it. So I would have to type this in by hand on my phone to do that. So she's kind of missing the boat. Now, on the other hand, she is doing some things right. You can see here I'm clicking on her episode and she has album art. However, if we go to one of my other favorite people of all time is David Lee Roth. He now has the Roth show. And if we actually go over to iTunes Store, here are some couple things. Number one, he has no description. Now, I know you're David Lee Roth, and you're the lead singer of Van Halen, but you should probably explain what to expect on this. But you can see here, Dave is mixing video and audio, and that's not a good idea. You can also see where in his title of his episodes, he's putting The Roth Show, episode whatever. Well, we already know it's The Roth Show. You don't have to put that. And nobody's searching for episode four. It should be whatever the title is, which in this case is Love Training, Howard Stern, The Boom. That I might want to listen to as opposed to The Ross Show, Episode 4. You can see down here, Episode 1 is called Sarcasm and Tattoos. So lose The Ross Show, lose episode numbers, we don't care, and have two feeds, one for audio, one for video. Now the fun thing is, if you go to his website, his website for this is The Ross Show, rss.com where he doesn't even have a button for iTunes he's only promoting himself in iTunes but he doesn't have a button for that now to his credit he does have a link here for RSS so if I wanted to subscribe to this in my phone I could simply right click here copy this link and email it to myself on my phone so Dave does have some things right however other things he's kinda of missing if we go back to iTunes and actually see where I've subscribed to these Jillian has album art if I go to Dave's show here, he has no album art, which is going to kind of make you look like a hack. So more and more celebrities are jumping in on the podcasting bandwagon, but there are these little itty-bitty things kind of icing on the cake that if you don't do them will make your podcast look kind of unprofessional. And it's going to hinder you from getting more listeners. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. You need good headlines. And right now, David Lee Roth, episode number four, is not a good headline. So, Jillian, Dave, come visit me. Schoolofpodcasting.com is where you can find me. If you want to take the tutorials, they're there. If you want to hire me for one-on-one -on -one coaching, we can do that as well. So that's just a couple quick examples of how you can inadvertently miss the boat by just going after the iTunes and iTunes only market. For more information, visit me at schoolofpodcasting.com.